It's summertime in the UK. It doesn't happen that often. And I've been browsing Amazon and look what I found. I found a 10 watt solar panel to charge up your mobile phones in this wonderful weather. Full review coming up. YouTubers, it's Catonia here, Steve, and um, today we are going to be reviewing the eScene solar panel charger. Um, we do a lot of technology reviews as well as air rifle reviews on here. So if you're new to this channel, you stumbled across it, don't forget to hit that um, subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notifications as well so you can see the next videos. But anyway, less of that, let's move straight on to this. Yes, it, it is summertime in the UK. Believe it or not, we have had six weeks of non-stop sunshine. We're up in the 30s. Yes, I know you guys in America and Australia are just gonna laugh at us limeys, yeah, but it's good for one thing, suntans, and it's also good for solar panels. So this is the e-scene 10 watt portable solar panel um, I sp stumbled across this on Amazon I thought yeah give it a go I've never done that and I like getting a little bit for, for nothing you know 30 bucks this was 30 UK pounds hardly costs anything these things used to cost lots of money back in the past technology has got a lot better now uh, absolutely brilliant you can also get this in a backpack version as well so it's a uh, one of those rucksacks that you can carry it's got solar panels on it and then you can charge up your devices check I'll leave all the links down below for everything I'm talking about including in the backpack I'm gonna get one of those definitely gonna get one of those great for holidays but anyway what is it quite simple it's just basically zips up it's nice and light it's under one pound about 350 grams uh, really really good construction um, I was expecting something a bit cheap and tacky but um, to be honest I can't see anything wrong with this it's got lots of little ribbon bits around the edges so you can ha hook it up to places um, it's the zips on it are really really good so when you unzip it as well like so and then you've got your actual solar panel charger here as well and it's flexible as well so it, it will quite happily go in a backpack it will bend a little bit it's not a solid panel glass panel or anything like that so it can take some abuse and it's also weatherproof as well so if it does happen to rain you haven't got a problem there you just wipe it down just don't go throwing it in lakes or swimming pools obviously it's not designed for that but it will actually charge in USB too and to see how this all works is there is a, another little panel here that you can open and this actually has weatherproof zips on it these really 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 nice zips i'll leave some pictures around but you open this panel up up here and you get a mini usb charger cable which i've already connected up again i'll leave some pictures for you you actually get four carabiners which is really really nice to see um, they're great because of what you can do with those carabiners i've got one on this side is you can hook them up to these little uh, rings on here and then you can hook it to trees to boats the size of boats or wherever whatever it is that you want to do or even attach it to your backpack as well and and you get a nice little user manual all in English really good gives you all the details you want and everything and then obviously here we have the actual charger unit itself which has got a little um, weatherproof cap on it you plug a USB cable in there and it charges out so this is rated at 10 watts and at five basically the usb charging standard of five volts and one amp which is your standard um, type of um, charge that you need to charge up your standard devices like your mobile phones your tablets and things like that it won't obviously do fast charging it only goes out as your normal usb on there now obviously you can use their usb cable or you can use any cable you want and again i'll leave some links around but the cable they give you is a mini on here so if you have a usb c type phone or any other devices that are like that or an apple phone then obviously you're going to need to get a different cable to fit with that but it's your standard usb inside there that you plugs into so you should have no issues with it whatsoever but it's rated at 10 watts and I'll leave some video around I've actually got my trusty multimeter out and um, we've had some really really gorgeous sunshine so you know it's about as best as it gonna get in the UK blue skies constant sunshine at it and I'm constantly getting 5.21 volts out of it um, and obviously then the the ampage depends on the power of the Sun but I was getting up to about 1.3 1.4 um, ampage out of it which when you do the maths of volts times ampage gives you your wattage works out around about seven to eight watts I'm getting out of this and the sun's just gone behind the cloud so obviously that this would reduce the charge on there while the sun's behind the cloud and then it will pick back up but 
seven to eight watts out of this for a rated 10 watt unit is actually pretty damn good. Um, I was expecting it to be much, much lower than that. So I'm, I'm pretty surprised by that. I'm really, really impressed with it. So what I'd also recommend you do is that when you're charging up with a device like this, when the sun does go down as it has now, and hopefully this camera can cope with it, I'm in automatic mode. So um, when the sun does go down, if you're charging directly up from USB cable into your phone, then some phones and some devices will then detect that you've stopped charging because the sun's gone away and it will switch itself off or disconnect. And that can cause a lot of problems, basically. You put your phone out and it's been out, you know, it's in the nice little protective sleeve in here in case it rains, so it's in there, no problems at all. But you've got your phone and it's charging away and then the sun goes behind a cloud um, and then you've still got it out for two hours and your phone's no longer charging. That can happen a lot. So what I recommend you do is you get one of these, which is a portable USB battery. Now there's hundreds of different types out there and this one's a RAV power and I'll leave a link down below. The nice thing about these batteries, and I can confirm these ones work, is that you can actually charge the battery up and constantly top the battery up while charging your phone out with the output of it. So in other words, it'll let you charge the battery while it's charging the device. Um, it doesn't do it as efficiently, but the nice thing about that is what you do is you connect up your solar panel, you connect it up to your battery. That means your battery's constantly being topped up and then your battery charges your phone up. That way you'll never get disconnects or power outages or something saying that the power charge is incompatible. You'll get a lot of the times that happen. Also as well, a nice thing about it is while you're out on holiday or you're on a campsite, just put this out, put your battery out. You've always got a full battery then. Always, always, because the phone, uh, the battery is being charged from your USB, uh, from the solar charger. So really, really handy little tip, but it's got to be one of those type of batteries that will actually let you do the charging of the battery and the charging of the device through the output. These ones, the RAV powers certainly work, come in a nice pretty little case, dirt cheap as well, really, really cheap. So what do I think of the e-scene? Well, I, I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I was expecting to get a pretty bad product for that sort of price, but I am super amazed. The quality, the stitching, everything on it is just fantastic. The included carabiners, um, the quality, uh, the bendable, how lightweight it is, you know, for 30 bucks, you can't really beat it. And if you're like me and you want to have a bit of a play and you think you've got some really nice weather and you, why aren't you using the sun to charge your devices up, etc., then this is a really simple and cheap way of doing it as well. And I'm certainly going to be getting their backpack that they've got as well. I'm going to get that as soon as I come back from holiday. I'm getting the backpack off them as well. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you like this channel. Um, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As always, um, I'd love to see your comments down below and um, check out the other videos that I'll be leaving for you as well. Um, have a look into the air rifle stuff. It might, you might, might like that as well. And as always, all the links are down below. Consider being a patron and the usual stuff. And I'll catch you on the next video.